right behind me is what is referred to as the Welling Wall. It's actually the western front of uh, the old temple. It's the only uh, part of the temple that is still remains. Um, beyond that, in that tree line, is actually where the temple set. Um, this is where people come from all over the world and make prayers on paper and put them into the wall. You can see that the Jewish Orthodox uh, folks, they come and they pray at this wall um, all the time. And so it's a really neat thing to see, to know just beyond that is where the temple actually was in, in all of Jerusalem. This is the only thing that remains of the old temple. So we are actually down inside uh, of the temple. Back behind me is what we would consider stores or money changing um, opportunities. Uh, you had to have the right coin in order to present it to, to enter into the area. And so this is where this would have took place. If you'll follow, you'll see areas of just storerooms where um, things uh, that were um, co uh, coins, um, you could buy lambs, things like that for sacrifice. We'll go up in here. But this is where Jesus, when he entered, he would have gotten, um, this is where he overturned the money changers tables. This is where he run them out and he said that you have made my father's house which is a house of prayer into a den of thieves this is where that happened where the righteous anger of our lord came forth because of their uh, abuse of their power and how that they were taking advantage of the people making money off of the temple uh, this is where all of that happened outside the temple um, is something that's really neat uh, I'll show you the Lord had predicted that there won't be a single stone left of this temple and if you'll look that is actual stone from Jesus day when the or with the prediction of the temple coming down that is it that is the rubble of the temple so you see that uh, the Lord prophesied that would happen and it did happen can even look to the right and just see all of these stones that had fallen from the top. These large stones are stones that was the original stone of the temple. As you get uh, up higher, you can see that these stones were smaller, and so that was just reconstruction the building back of the temple. But these large stones at the base were stones that were here during the time of Jesus. So this is just a neat place. Back behind you can see where all of the money changers' rooms were. And um, it's just, it's really the scripture coming to life right here before our eyes. So back behind is still part of the temple, the actual uh, southern entrance of the temple. People, the Jewish people coming uh, for Passover or coming to visit the temple would come up through this valley and enter into the southern entrance of the temple. Uh, this is actually not the temple that Solomon built. This is the reconstruction temple. The temple Solomon built was destroyed uh, and so this was part of the second temple. Uh, over into this valley is the city of David. That's where 
King David, a thousand years prior to Christ, built his home, was right down off of this mountain peak into that valley which is known as the City of David. You can see the steps are probably, uh, you can see especially here, they're broke away. These were probably part of that uh, second temple, we can only assume. To enter, I would assume, into the southern gates of the temple. If you'll look right up on top of this mountain peak, uh, that is the Mount of uh, Olives. Uh, we visited that earlier this week. That's where Jesus looked out over the city. You can only imagine as he looked, because from that viewpoint, you have a great look at this temple. And his heart broke. He was just he was broken over the city and the state of his people um, you know because this this temple was was only really supposed to point toward him it was supposed to prepare their heart for the coming of the Messiah and so when he came and was not recognized um, you know Jeremiah prophesied that there's a new covenant coming and that this covenant would not be written on stone as it was for Moses this covenant be written on the hearts of his people and so as Jesus looked out over this place I can again I can only imagine um, the heartbreak because ultimately all of this was a point to him as the Messiah the, the, the Redeemer of the nation of Israel and so uh, that's where we're at really this place is massive I, I can't imagine what it would have been like when Solomon had built it because it was more glorious and the first temple was more glorious than the second temple I, I can't imagine one thing I think is pretty neat is there's so many tombs up on top of that uh, Mount of Olives and, and gravesides and they say uh, that those tombs are there because we as we as believers know that's where Jesus on his second coming is coming back is to the Mount of Olives and he's going to put his feet down upon that place but they also believe that uh, because they have their tombs there they're going to be the first to meet him uh, so that's sort of a local tradition I suppose.